part is now in the air. We're just going to drain the gearbox oil down here. Um, young Michael is removing the uh, prop shaft. Have you done the slave? Slave's in the You have off. done the slave, sweet. Yep. I'll undo the start motor, just a little bit fiddly there. Disconnect the sensors and uh, and we can start undoing the bell housing bolts and we'll start taking the main mount off and drop it down. Mmm, gearbox oil. So on the sump drain plug there, you see it's got a magnet on the end which picks up any bits of particles from uh, Wayne's dodgy gear changes. <laughs> They've been picked up there, just little fragments of metal Lots to save it. Swarf. Save it floating around the gearbox and causing further damage. Another thing with gearbox oil, a lot of anyone that hasn't changed it before, it's really stinky stuff. So you get it on your clothes, they're basically bin. Basically chuck away. Items. Destined for the bin, yeah. yeah. They, it just stinks. It's the worst smell ever. And Michael may have got covered in it the other week. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had a bad experience at Drift Matsuri getting covered in gearbox oil. And my van still smells of gearbox oil. And that was fucking <laughs> a year and a half ago. It is stinky stuff though, isn't it? It's I wonder really... why it smells so funny. Strange. Yeah, it's like pussy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what pussy you got, mate. Mine smells fresh, bruv. <laughs> right, young Michael has now removed all the prop shaft bolts. That should be a case of just sliding her out. There she goes. While Scouse is just undoing the connector plug, Wayne's also got some lovely new tyres supplied by my fine squire, Mr. Scouse. Well, they're Killies 123s. 123S. Nice. And what size? God, they're big, aren't they? 265s in the front. Man size is And the rears? 335, 30, 18. Look how wide these fucking rear tyres are. Does it, does it actually break traction, this car? <laughs> it still does a little bit, yeah. Crazy. What does he run, like 100 PSI? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you also do the alignment? Yeah, it's also had the four-wheel alignment done. Scouse is just going to undo the gearbox bracket. If I can get that. Ooh. One of those. Now Scousey's just dropped the gearbox a little bit, which gives him, hopefully, a little bit more access to reach the starter motor. Which you guys can probably just see up there. Mmm, shiny. The starter motor is out. Yep. Um, we've, the gearbox has been dropped a little bit to give us access for that. Started undoing the bell housing bolts. Just got to do the top two. And then we actually are good to come out. Hey! Let's flag. If in doubt. We have one transmission jack for said transmission. Obviously we are environmentally disposing of said gearbox oil. Once this barrel's filled, we just chuck it down in the local river and it's all good to go. <laughs> Ye old sub plug is back in place. Right, gearbox is free, as you can see. There she goes. Just my finger. What's that input shaft like? Mm. To me. One, three, one, to two, three. To me, to you. Oh, down here. Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Input shaft has a little bit of play in it, but it's not horrendous. Seen worse. Pretty much generally on my cars. That is lovely. That release bearing is fucked. That technical term is definitely fucked. Yeah, it's definitely fucked. This is the old clutch, which you fitted. I fitted this about three years ago. Is that why it's fucked? Uh, no. <laughs> Wayne uses his car a lot. Only joking, audience. What is this? Like an axe, single plate, six puck? Six puck, yeah, panel clutch. Yeah. So it's similar to what we may be putting back in, but we'll, we'll see what the flywheel's like, because I did replace the flywheel before as well. Yeah. This has actually got ARP flywheel bolts, um, so a bit stronger than the original ones. Oh. Uh, it's always advised, well, you're meant to re replace the flywheel bolts every time. Not many people do, no, but this is definitely, definitely supposed practice, to. Yeah. But the AC ones are good. And you so can keep Gary, fist bump, man, you're on the channel now. Yeah. Famous, man, that's five pounds, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the clutch bolts now removed. Should be a case of just pulling her off. Whoosh, Wayne's been doing duggets. Definitely a few clutch kicks in there. Oh. Man. It's pretty fucked. A lot of heat spots as well. Mm, duggets. Mm. So yeah, as you can see from that. Basically, audience, if you're really erratic and do loads of burnouts, this is what happens. Yeah, Asbo Wayne <laughs> has been doing some. So yeah, you can see it's just about coming to the rivets there. You can see we're starting yeah. to score. There is literally no meat left on that. Whatsoever. Just about started touching the rivets here and stuff. It has ever so slightly scored, scored the flywheel, the flywheel yeah. which means 
Win play. Wee so we are going for that shiny purple number down there. This is stage seven from Gran Turismo, is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cost about 24,000 credits. Yeah, so this can be skimmed. So obviously it's got you know, some light grooving and everything like that where you can see the rivets are start to touch, but we can send this to Machine Shop and actually get them to skim this. So give it completely uh, flat face yeah, again. Take a layer off it. Yep, and then it could actually be reused, reused. to be honest. So this is exactly what would have gone on before. Yeah. You see, nice and shiny. Obviously, it's got a bit of that's like stuff from the factory, isn't it? Though? So this is just oil they put on them to coat them to stop them from corroding, because yeah. uh, it is steel after all. Um, so yeah, it can get rusty from like uh, moisture in the air. Flywheel's coming off. Another thing that a lot of people get quite lazy about and actually don't change is the actual little pilot bush inside here, which actually the nose of the shaft of the gearbox goes into this little brass. Um, like sleeve almost, yeah. but a lot of people don't take them out because they can't be bothered, which is actually really easy to take out in fact. Do they come supplied with the kits? Uh, they actually don't come with the kit, you buy them separately, but quite okay. supplied me one somewhere, right here. Got a new one? Yeah, oh, supplied yeah. me one. Brass? Yeah. yeah, so we will be replacing that just to pre prevent any movement from the input shaft. We will see you in the morning. Peace. Good morning Terence. Hello mate. Good morning Michael. Good morning, Sir Simon! It is the morning. We are back in wonderful casting performance. We're going to be cracking on with the R33 cuts change, which we started yesterday. There has been a slight change in plan, which Scouse is going to explain. Right, so basically, we were going to be putting the twin plate cuts in, um, but Wayne also owns an R32 GTR. So he's decided that he's going to put that into that car because that is actually going to be running more horsepower than this. Um, once it's all been rebuilt. Yeah. So we're now actually going to carry on putting the competition clutch flywheel and the ACT clutch. Which is basically right, it's a similar sort of performance but it's a single plate as opposed to a Yeah, it's plate. not quite as much but it's, this Enough. one lasted for three years and he does, you know, abuse it a little bit. And then that's going to be used in his maroon R32 GTR. GTR, yeah. Cool. Scouse is going to be installing the new pilot bush and he's going to show us how it's done or hopefully how it's done. Yeah. So there's the original pilot bush in there. I'll show you how a quick and easy way of getting it out without actually needing any special tools. Um, which basically involves an 11 mil socket, which I'm gonna pack in with some blue rolls, so it makes it like a, a solid part. Yeah. It can go in there, and then basically we fill the hole with grease, and the the force of it, like it will be pushing it through, and the actual grease will start pushing the bush back out, cool. and it'll end up sitting on my socket. Nice one. Fingers crossed. This is literally just red rubber grease, which is like used for brakes and stuff, but, um, See, it's all red. The only problem, this is really messy, so uh, we'll, show it, well, we'll do it with that hand. It takes a bit of cleaning afterwards. Strange noise there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the grease. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone's having a bit of a finger blast. <laughs> and the colour's a bit disturbing. Oh, we can't do these workshop videos without some, without some sort of sexual innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a few attempts, so you kind of uh, get it. There you go, first go. There we go. That actually comes in that. Clean all that up, slot the new one in, jobs are good then. That's quite good, they don't normally come out first attempt. I was obviously just, must have packed it well. Yeah. That was the whole night. <laughs> the Scouse is just using a little bit of brake cleaner now just to get the last bit of the grease out. I'm just going to now put the new spigot bush back into place. Next we're just going to change this old clutch release bearing. See this one in here, extremely noisy in fact. It's fruit. So it's going to take that off. And basically this gets pressed off the old carrier. And that gets kept. And then yeah, we've got the new one to go back onto it. That's what a bearing should sound like. Should sound like nothing. Not like this. Oh, feel it. It's nice, it? Now we're just going to use this hydraulic press to press out the, the carrier which my kind associate will now demonstrate. Yeah, I just didn't realise it wasn't very straight. There we go. Now. 
now we're just pressing in the, the carrier into the new bearing. The release bearing is all good to go. We're nice and clean inside the bell housing. Now Scouse is just attaching the clutch fork. There we go, you can see what's going on there. And there she goes. One brand new release bearing. Give her a little spin. Mmm, no noise. Right, time to get the new flywheel and new clutch out. Mmm, much better, uh, very shiny. Obviously, we'll put on a bit of braking around this, just clean it up a little bit. Make it all lovely. So we're just going to clean up the new flywheel, get all the old oil off of it, um, just so it doesn't contaminate the new friction plate of the clutch. Don't really need to clean the back of it, but I do just to save it, otherwise it will smoke up and everything when you start doing some duggets. What is the recommended torque settings? 95 95 foot pounds, foot pounds of torques. <coughs> now we're going to do the um, flywheel bolts up. Obviously when um, Scouse turns the flywheel bolts, it's actually going to turn the flywheel and spin the crank. So I'm effectively going to stop the crank from spinning so we can do them up. Just once, I'm just going to go around and double check. There we go. All good to go. That is one flywheel freshly installed. Now it's a case of putting the uh, the clutch disc and covers back on. We're just going to give it a quick little clean up, get rid of the old fingerprints. As we mentioned yesterday, this is a six puck sprung loaded. Obviously six pucks, because you can count them there. And sprung loaded, you can see the springs in here. Now we're just going to be using this lovely alignment tool to get everything straight. The alignment tool just <coughs> centralises the actual clutch friction plate to the flywheel. So that centralises inside the spigot bush, which is what would be the input shaft of the gearbox, and just centralises it in the spline there, just so it all lines up when you go put the gearbox back on. Right, now we're just putting the uh, pressure plate on. The other thing is, you've got all these little dowel pins on the flywheel yeah. that align this pressure plate. Now, there's three of them on there and they can only go one way, so sometimes you kind of case of, you put the pressure plate on, they don't quite line up, so you turn it around to the next one, it, yeah. yeah, and until you find the right position to make sure it all lines up. Now we're going to do up the pressure plate bolt, so it's exactly the same thing again. I'm going to put my old hand on the this one crank so pulley. Right, far away, son. Sweet man. Pop her out, done. I want to help, I'm holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Leg workout. Too high. There she goes. Scousey's done up all the bell housing bolts now. Um, next up, he's doing the gearbox mount. Yeah, yeah, main gearbox mount there. Got the clutch slave done. Starter motors back in. Pop shaft here, you see. You can have a little look there. See, I mark up, I paint up all the, the nuts and bolts yeah. with a line, just so you can see if at any point they do come loose, not that they ever do. Yeah, just to give you a it's, bit of a point just, of reference. A, yeah, point of reference, really quick, easy check. Yeah. Quite, you know the words. Scousey's just going up top of the car to top the gearbox up with oil. Um, I'm going to be his eyes down here and monitor when it starts pouring out of the drain plug. There we go. Yeah, coming out, bro. <laughs> Stop it, you. Said R33 is now finally back on the ground. 
Um, we're just going to remove out all the, um, all, the, all the legs. We're going to have a little bit of lunch and after lunch we'll take her for a test drive and take you guys on board. We have finished our lunch. Just going to jump in the passenger side. We're going to put the, um, put the shifter back in. Literally just slots in like that. Get a bit of night mode. A little circlet ring here. All good? Yep. Sweet. I'm going to put this on for now. Wayne is getting us another shifter boot. Oh yeah. Really common for splitting. Now we're putting on the rubber boot. And there's a little cover, which some people don't know. It actually has an arrow at the front there. Oh yeah, cool. The shifter is all good to go. Now we just got to put the, um, the gear gator back on and this little center trim. Like such. Oh yeah. Job well done, son. One Skyline is now ready for a test drive. We're just going to give Scouts a little push to get her out. Yeah. Right, we are in the car. How's the clutch, clutch feel? Clutch feels lovely, so it's nice and smooth. Um, so basically on test drive for something after it's just had a new clutch, we're looking for things like um, any vibrations that shouldn't be there. Um, making sure the clutch pedal actually feels nice, uh, making sure the clutch isn't dragging, not slipping. Yeah. <laughs> She's fucking lively this one! Just about brings this video to a close. Another successful job done by Mr. Scouse. As I said yesterday, we're quite happy to do lots of filming and film all these random cars in the workshop. So put a comment below if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, as always, give the video a like, put any comments down below, I'll do my best to get back to you, and we will all see you soon.